want to get my line into the water and start gathering leads, no matter how small. So far, I've no local advice to tap into, but I know that a tight bend in the river is a good bet for beginning to bring in whatever lives here, predator or prey. The chances are there's deepish water down here. There's a few snags, sunken branches on the edge. Um, it's the kind of thing that might make fish feel confident, the fact that there's refuge nearby, also the depth of water. There's a good chance that the killer I'm after is a carnivorous predator as it tore off the victim's face. So I'm using a whole fish for bait. Bait is a very precious commodity. It doesn't last very long in this heat. There's a lot of hope resting on this fish here. It doesn't disappoint. It looks like some kind of freshwater stingray. I'm going to try and slide it on to the beach here. It may not be the biggest monster in the river, but stingrays are the most feared fish in South America. They're responsible for countless injuries every year. Stab-proof gloves will protect me from its venomous barbed tail. <laughs> This is a creature that is potentially very dangerous to people. If you stepped on it and this thing stuck in your leg, it's very, very painful. But if you don't treat the wound, that can become septic. And you know, the worst case scenario there is actually for that to go gangrenous. Uh, remove the limb if you don't do that, that's fatal as well. The main one's about four inches long and there's a small one coming through underneath. And I think the principle is a bit like what happens in sharks. When their teeth fall out, they're replaced by other ones coming from behind. And I think when this main spine falls out, gets damaged, there's another one uh, waiting to take its place. But as dangerous as its tail is, this stingray doesn't have the hardware to tear somebody's face off. It hasn't really got teeth. Well, it has, but they're so close together that it forms almost like a... Uh, a grinding plate, there's a bit of roughness there, uh, almost like tiles, with each tile slightly pointed, and the actual jaw is quite muscular. It's got good crushing force there. Without the weaponry to rip flesh from bone, the river stingray is off my suspect list. But what other deadly creatures live alongside the ray in these murky waters? 